All right, so here's my issue. I'm trying to grow lights in the greenhouse this year. This is a small little bed of lettuce that I'm trying to grow. Um, I don't have any heat in the greenhouse yet. These grow lights this year just to experiment for later down the road whenever I do get uh, heat in here. But here's my issue. I want to be able to raise and lower these grow lights anytime I want to, raise them up, water, put them back down as the lettuce starts growing to be able to pull them up. And right now, the only way that I can do it is pull these out, raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. And I don't want to do that because I am uh, bound by whatever these measurements are. And I'm, I may need to raise uh, one end up while the other one's a little bit lower to keep it as close to the plants as possible. So I'm going to be putting a piece of paracord in here, tying a prusik, and that's what we're going to be looking at. Got a piece of paracord, taking one end, put a little overhand knot. That's going to be my stopper knot that we're going to be working with. And let me get it set up here and get ready to tie the knot. And there we go. There we go. So most videos you'll see Prusiks tied with a Prusik loop. I'm going to tie this without the loop because I want to tie it back on itself. So what I do is I go over one, two, three times, come back over the original. Now I originally went over. On this second side, I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to come back one, two, three loops. And then I'm going to dress it up. And it does take a little bit of work here to get everything tightened down. Not as clean in getting everything as if you have the Prusik loop already formed as opposed to trying to tie everything on the fly here. Yeah, almost got it. He's got it there. There we go. Tighten it up. So now I should be able to pull the end that has the stopper knot up. And it raises my end up and holds it. Let me get a picture of that. There you go. I don't know if I can do this one-handed or not, but if I wanted to lower it, all you have to do is just slide it back down, back down to wherever you want it. So if I want to come in here and water it, instead of getting water on my lights, they're LED, so I'm not really going to hurt it, but I can just slide the Prusik up, do my watering, and lower it back down. As the lettuce starts growing, and I need to bump it up maybe a half an inch or a quarter inch here and there, I can do that with a Prusik, and I don't have to worry about uh, retying anything. Um, I'll work it one more time for you. Get my camera set. Grab the end with the stopper. I think that's in film. Grab the end, with, uh, hold that, and I just pull that through. And that holds the end up. I can do my watering and lower it back down. So one of the uses for Prusik that I use, um, just trying to figure things out. And like I said, we see a lot of videos where the Prusik is tied with a Prusik loop. They show you how to tie it, but uh, most videos will never show you practical uses for all these knots. And that's something I want to get into, is how to take the knots and actually apply them around your house, around the campsite, and everything but here's a prusik tying it uh, without the loop and in practical exercise let's try it one more time i'm going to take one end do a overhand stopper knot that just keeps it from running out the end i'm going to put it right over the arm run it down through and bring it up here 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over and I'm gonna loop away from the line, the original cordage that I went over. So I went over one. I could probably get by with two loops because the lights aren't heavy. Come back across, I'm gonna hold it. And then I'm gonna loop back into toward the original. And then this is the aggravating part of it. You just gotta keep getting the slack out of it until it all tightens. And you can work it from both ends until it gets tight. See if two loops work. So if I grab my tag and just pull it, yeah, it works. Two loops will hold it. There. And that will allow me to take these chains off. And then I'll be set. And then I'll come back in here. I don't have a cigarette lighter with me, but I'll come back in here and burn the edges, keep them from fraying. And I'll do the other sides and be set. So Prusik, tying the Prusik without the Prusik loop. Um, something you don't see a whole lot of, but is well worth learning how to do. It comes in handy. And I'll probably be making a video on, on how to do this in setting up some tarps and, and campsites and such, but hope that helps.